In this video, we'll be discussing coupons and how to add them to your account. The first thing we want to do is just click Configuration on the left side of our page. You'll then click Coupons. This is going to take you over to the dedicated coupons page where we can see any of our active coupons as well as any that have expired. So to create a new one, we're just going to head up here to the top right and click New Coupon. And we'll start with a coupon name as well as a code that our customers are going to redeem. So for my company Taz Treats, we're going to be offering a Valentine's Day discount of 30%. It's going to be a one-time use, and it has to be used by the end of Valentine's Day. So we'll keep all of that in mind when we create the coupon here. So the internal name is just something us on the back end can recognize for the coupon. So I'm going to call this Valentine's Day 2020. And this is actually going to be the code name as well. So I'm just going to copy and paste that into the code name. You'll then ask yourself what kind of discount we're going to be offering. So I already mentioned this is going to be a 30% discount, but you also have the opportunity to do a fixed amount or just add this as a free trial. So I'm going to add this as a percentage. It's going to be 30%. Now what is the duration of the discount? So if you wanted this to be unlimited, you would keep it on forever, but in my case it's going to be a single use. Now what are the number, or I'm sorry, the maximum number of redemptions here? So I actually have a specific number and it's gonna be the first 500 customers. And the coupon can only be used once per customer in this case. And when can the customer redeem this code? So it's actually gonna be before the end of Valentine's Day. So I'm gonna say before a specific date, I'm gonna select February 14th or February 15th, so it has to be used on Valentine's Day. And then what plans are eligible? So any plan my customer has with me, it's gonna be 30% across the board. And this is going to be on an account level. So any subscription on the account. And the final aspect here is just adding in some text. So when our customer gets billed, they get confirmation that the coupon was applied to their account. So I'm just gonna say, thanks for using this coupon and we'll apply the same text to our invoice and we'll just go ahead and click create coupon. So now you can see we're back at our coupons page. We have our Valentine's Day coupon as an active coupon and it's ready to be sent out. Thanks for watching.